It's time for the weekly locker room sword fight. But wait, there's that new kid from Europe, and he is literally built differently. There's a little more meat on his salami. That's right, today we're talking about the difference between circumcised versus uncircumcised, and which the ladies prefer more. Circumcision is probably best known for its role in Abrahamic faiths, such as Islam and Judaism, but it was also practiced by the ancient Egyptians. It seems like a lot of ancient people thought that cutting off a bunch of your foreskin was a good, gross way to honor the gods. And you know what? It turns out that they were maybe onto something. Uncircumcised people tend to experience a higher rate of infection due to the foreskin trapping germs up against the tip of the penis. Like a nice, snug turtleneck, the foreskin prevents the head of the penis from airing out and provides a cozy, moist environment for germs and bacteria to grow in. For ancient people, this would have been a prominent concern. Hygiene practices were not nearly as bad as believed to be, but they were significantly less than they are today. While in ancient Egypt, for example, bathing in the Nile and its tributaries was common, they didn't bother using the advanced anti-gravity alien technology that they used to build the pyramids to install indoor plumbing or literally any other modern convenience. Which really begs the question of why use ancient alien technology to stack a bunch of stones on top of each other when everyone's running around with what top scientists call stink dick. In the modern world, though, the health benefits of circumcision are still debated, mostly because of the development of advanced technology called running water and regularly washing your stinky pork sword with soap. This astonishing scientific breakthrough sadly goes unnoticed by a significant portion of the male population, judging by repeated surveys of women about their sexual partners. However, there is strong evidence that circumcision helps prevent the spread of some STDs, such as AIDS, and it lowers the rate of urinary tract infections, though using a condom and soap pretty much negates any advantage of giving your yogurt slinger a haircut. It can be helpful, however, in preventing or correcting some penile issues. Sometimes the foreskin can become very rigid and hard, much like that special sock under your bed that your mom definitely knows about. This condition is called phimosis, and it can be painful, causing swelling of the head of the penis. And because we know what you're thinking, no, it is not an attractive kind of swelling of your custard chucker. It's very much a what medical issue are you suffering from kind of swelling. But men who are circumcised are far more likely to experience a lack of sensitivity or even pain in their penis. There's also the possibility that the doctor accidentally gives your one-eyed trouser trout too close of a haircut and removes too much of the foreskin. The foreskin itself might also not heal properly or reattach to the penis, prompting a need for surgery or possible disfigurement. So what do women prefer? Most studies show that women prefer circumcised baloney ponies because of improved smell and perceived cleanliness. So if you're one of the approximately 70% of men around the world who aren't circumcised, don't be gross, just clean your Robert Downey Jr. regularly and you'll be fine. Plus, you'll have extra padding for locker room sword fights. Now go check out weird facts about foreskin or click this other video instead.